well so far. My JD is coming out. Look at that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here! Synchro. What's happening, that OAA squad? It's your boy. Oh, it's wrong, back here with a another one. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, y'all probably looking at me like, what is this dude? Why is he looking like this? What is wrong with this man? What is wrong with this kid? But look, I had to come in with a quick video for y'all today, you know what I'm saying? On um, how to comb out dreads or freeform dreads. And I already combed out like that's why I got my hair tied up because I was already combing out dreads before this video and I'm like, I can make a video out of this. So I'm like, all right, I'm about to show these people how to like comb out dreads. So I already combed out like four or five and my hair actually got longer. Like when I grab, well, when I grab majority of it, it goes like right here, but like single stranded, it comes down to like, the top of my lip or to like the bottom of my nose so my hair actually got longer since the last time i had it out like this like non-dreaded but uh i'm not gonna keep talking outside i'm about to get straight to it you know what i'm saying so make sure y'all be ready to follow some things because y'all actually are going to need some things before this video starts so sit back and relax and let me show y'all how ryan combs out or i'm gonna show y'all how to comb out dreads or freeform dreads let's get it all right man and uh i know y'all hear like a little echo y'all can't really see it but my room is actually being renovated right now so it's an echo and like some stuff i had to take out so my room is like echoey so y'all hear that echo don't mind that my room is going through renovation now so let me tell y'all what y'all need Alright, so the first thing y'all gonna need, or one of the things y'all gonna need, is hair conditioner. I got this from uh, Walmart. It's coconut conditioner. You can get this from Walmart at like for like $12, $13. But you don't have to use this conditioner. This is just the one I use. It's a good conditioner. This one I got from Walmart is like $12 or something like that. It's a good conditioner. You don't need this exact conditioner, but you do need like hair conditioner. And this is mine. So yeah, this is the conditioner I'm using. Next you will need a spray bottle, you know what I'm saying? Uh you can get this at a hair store for like I think it's like two to three dollars. It's not that much to get a, a spray bottle. And I already got you need warm water too. So the conditioner, mix that with like hot or warm water so it's like easier to comb these out because like warm water they said like loosen them, your hair so it's easier to come out and then you want to just get your conditioner and like mix it in your bottle just put your conditioner in there i mean your conditioner in your bottle mix it with the warm or hot water and that's two things that you already need next you will also need a comb this is an all-purpose comb. I got this comb from, I don't know where. I, I'm sure it came from a hair store, but like my sister, this is like my sister's old comb or something. It's an all-purpose comb. That's what it's called. So when you go to the hair store, it's, all, it's called an all-purpose comb. Where like one side is like thicker and then the other side is like thinner. So like you need one of these, or you can get a, a metal tube comb it's called like a double-sided it's called a double-sided comb i'll put an image on the screen somewhere you can go get that from like walmart or you can order it offline i don't know how much it would cost but this it costs like three dollars four dollars maybe not i honestly don't know my sister this is my sister old comb but you need a offers comb or a metal two-sided metal comb so either or you can use and the last thing you're gonna need is some tiles, you know what I'm saying? Or a tile, my boy. 
you gonna need a towel because when you spraying with that water, it's gonna be leaving mess, you know what I'm saying? So you don't wanna have mess all over. You don't want water and stuff and hair, cause you're gonna be combing it out. So you gonna have hair and water like everywhere. So you wanna get you a comb. I mean, right. huh? you wanna get you a towel so you can like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's not like hella stuff all over your place. So, uh, that's all you need, you know what I'm saying? So, let's get into this video, you dig? How to comb out, how to comb out dreads, freeform dreads. Let's get to it. I'm about to, we about to comb out a dread, you know what I'm saying? So, basically, we're we going to comb out this one right here. So we're going to comb out this one right here. Let's see what can we're gonna come out this red right here. If you tie up your hair, it make it easier because like all the dreads is out the way. So it's easier. So you wanna grab your water bottle. We'll grab the bottle that you're gonna be like using. And you just wanna spray it. If you wanna wet it with uh your mix your mixed water, your warm water and your conditioner mix in your bottle. You just want to wet the dread. Make sure you get it wet. And if you want to, you can uh, get your conditioner if you want to. And you can like apply it to your dread to make this easier. So I'm going to just put it on my dread right here. The conditioner. And then you want to grab your comb. Where's my so I'm gonna be using the small side. It's double sided. I'm gonna use the small side. And I already combed out this right here. I already said we're gonna do this one. And you just wanna. I'm grabbing the small side. And you just wanna start from the tip and just start combing it out like this. So I do want to say the tips is the easiest part of the dreads. You want to start at the tip and then you work your way to the bottom. Now the tip is the easiest part of the dread. The tips is the easiest. The middle gets tougher. And uh, throughout your dread, there's going to be hard spots and there's going to be soft spots. The hard spots tend to be tougher and the soft spots are a little easier. And, um, you just want to start at the tips and work your way all the way to the scalp. So you just want to slowly comb from the tip and then work your way down. Now, when you when you get to a point when you get to a point where you comb it and it doesn't move up like this, like I have it's in the knot. If you can see it, it don't move. You can either add more spray, so you can either spray some more, have it wet, and you can just start. Don't force your hair. If it doesn't come out, move. Just go go down a little bit and then try again. So you just want to don't force it out, but just. Come down a little bit on the dread and try again. So it do take a little time. And I just want to let y'all know. Let me clear this out real fast. All the hair that's on this comb right here is not like it's not your real hair. Like it's not like your growing hair, if that's what it is. This is dead hair. So this is all the every day people your hair falls out a little piece of your hair fall out like everybody's hair fall out every day just little pieces of it and with you having dreads it actually can't fall out and it doesn't escape so it just stays in the dread forever and it just sits there so all this dead hair that's falling out is not like real hair like you have nothing to be concerned about for this because it's going to be if you got a head full of dreads yeah, you're gonna have a lot of this, so don't 
just know that. So it's just dead hair. So don't panic, none of that. It's just dead hair. And um, you just want to keep combing. So if it don't come out, just move, like, move down a little bit. Keep moving down. Now some dreads is gonna be easier than others. Some dreads is gonna take more time than others, but it's all about patience. If you really wanna get your dreads out, see there, God got the knot. If you really wanna get your dreads out, you would just take time. Now if you got, for me, one dread usually takes about five to 10 minutes. If you got longer dreads, it's going to take longer because uh, it's longer dread, so. And if you had it for a longer time, I don't know if time actually matters. If you had it for like six years, I don't know if it would become out easier or not than mine. So I had mine for two years. No, freeforming, I had it yet for about two years, I believe. I freeformed like, I started like two years ago. So honestly, I don't know if how long you had your dreads, does it matter or not, but I had mine for about two years. And uh, basically you just wanna keep combing. Just keep combing, remember everything I told you. And whenever the dread gets dry, just spray it. Just spray it with water. Spray it with your spray bottle with the conditioner stuff in it. And if you want, like I said, you can add conditioning to make it easier. But there you go so far. My JD is coming out. Look at that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, that. But no, look at that. So that's how much I've combed out so far. This much. And uh, I'm going to come back to y'all whenever I get down. All right, y'all. So I just finished... Bruh, my hair look wild. I just finished this dread right here. Oh, snap. Look at that dread I just finished. It's uh, all combed out now. So there you go. It's, when you do this, it's still like knots and stuff. I'm trying to get out. But mostly it's all out. So here, this is what I did right here. This is what I did. And it stretched down to right here. So this is the dread that I combed out. It's all combed out. There you go. It's all combed out. So there we go. But anyways, yeah, that's how you come out dreads, you know what I'm saying? Uh for Congos, you just wanna hold on. Let me find the Congo. Alright, I found the Congo. This one right here. Now to do Congos, all you wanna do is easy. All you gotta do is you come out one side of the Congo and then you come out the other side of the Congo. And then after you do that, you start from the middle right here and you just comb down to the scalp, just like the normal, just like a single dread like I showed you. So you wanna comb out this one first or comb out this one first. And then once you get to right here and the everything both of these is combed out from the middle right here. You just want to comb down just like a single dread. And that's how you come out of Congo. And that's how you come out dreads, free from dreads, all that, you know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all like this video, you know what I'm saying? Bro, that's how you comb out free form dreads, dreads, whatever. I just, I'm in the process of combing out my dreads right now. So make sure y'all, if y'all need help rewatching, rewatch the video. If y'all miss anything, if y'all need help, if y'all didn't understand anything, just rewatch the video. And yeah, I'm currently in the process of combing them out. And yeah, this is all I got so far. That's this front part. That's all I got so far. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If y'all enjoyed the video, share the video. Hopefully this helped y'all comb out your dreads. If y'all got any questions, Leave them down below. I will respond to those. And, uh, yeah, that's how you come out dreads, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. It's your boy, Always Ron, signing out. My hair looking crazy. Bop.